<laughs> YouTube! Welcome back to another episode of The Bottom Table. I used to say very confidently that we take a look at your horrible silver gold necklace, but today we've got something a little bit more spicy, and that is Witchcrafter. This deck is sent in by Carbonara. Witchcrafter is a deck which revolves around using spell cards either as spells or discards for the main deck monsters. Each of the spell cards, if not activated that turn, can add themselves back during the end phase if you control a Witchcrafter, providing plenty of card advantage. The deck greatly benefits from cards such as Grass and Reasoning due to the low monster count and the number of graveyard effects, although tends to be quite reliant on mills. With the new support, the deck received a new fusion spell and monster in Witchcrafter Vice Madame, which has three strong effects, all of which can be used in the same turn. The replays are all in Diamond 4 from about three hours of gameplay. All right, game one, or duel one, or replay one. What do we have here? Well, we've got what appears to be a very good uh, hand in any deck that involves grass looks greener, but will it resolve? No, actually. All right, let's count them up. And trap number one. And trap number uno. All right, now we're going to activate the effect of Magician Souls. We're going to send Haney from the deck to the graveyard to special itself. Activate the effect to send two to draw two. Gamma! And trap number two. Now, what does this deck do through uh, two hand traps? Well, let's find out. We're going to activate the effect of Metaphors Fusion in the graveyard and draw into Magicalized Fusion, which is a, uh, I suppose, Miracle Fusion for any spellcaster. And it's going to special summon Witchcrafter Vice Madame. Let's actually read this card really quick because it's very important. So this has three effects, and it basically chains on to the effect of a spell card or effect of a spell card or a non-fusion spellcaster. And then, after that, it can destroy a card on the field, it can special a witchcrafter from your deck, or it can recycle a witchcrafter from your grave. And you can use all three of those effects in the same turn. It's probably uh, a custom card level of broken. So you activate a spellcaster, if snow, then you can chain Vice Madame, to then special summon out of the deck, a Schmitta. We're gonna go into a link for Hita, and Schmitta in the graveyard, and banish itself, chained by the Vice Madame to destroy a card on the field, it's just whatever, you know, it's turn one. I don't know why you would give your opponent driver back in the grave. It is what it is. We're going to send by street. And then we're going to put the uh, ash in the zone of Hita. That's a spellcaster in Hita, which makes Selene. We have enough for Selene here, but we also get to chain the third and final effect of Vice Madame, which adds any witchcrafter back from the graveyard. We're going to add back the by street that we sent with the Schmitta. Now we get to use the effect of the Selene to bring back, uh, to special summon, sorry, the, the pottery, pittory. Uh, to discard for the effect to end on Vera. And in the end phase, we also get the effect of Vice Street. So through two hand traps, we end on Vera, Protection, and Vice Madame. As well as Snow in the Graveyard. Pretty broken. Let's see what our opponents can do for here. We're gonna go E-Teleport, chain Vice Madame to a spell card. They're gonna use the effect of Ghost Ogre to destroy the Vice Madame, but haha. <laughs> we can protect Vice Madame with the effect of Vice Street. Destruction does not work against this deck. We're gonna special out of the deck here a Jenny. And then chain to the Jenny, uh, the effect of, uh, rather, activate the Jenny. And in response, we're going to use the Madame. Madame can then pop a card to the normal summon punk here. But no punk combos from you as we use the pop effect. And then Jenny floats into another pop of Haney. We're going to use the uh, Ogre Dancer here to special summon Tupac. Or add Tupac, normal summon Tupac. But we've got Snow in the graveyard as our last and final disruption. Also chaining the effect of Vice Madame to give you some more resources, because why not? Absolute indisputable best spellcaster deck. You gotta tell me like this isn't better than Dark Magician. Are you, gonna really, are you really gonna suggest that this is worse than Dark Magician? <laughs> and now you might be wondering, can this deck go second? Huh. Well, we didn't draw any hand traps, so let's see how that works out. We're gonna play against live twins here. And uh, that deck is, I mean, it's okay. Arguably the best deck in TCG right now. So, you know, not too bad. Got gigantic sprite here to go for a uh, two lock on ourselves, but we got the sprite engine as well because you know why not get some free cards for no reason? A A A, linking away into Dagda here. Special summoning Jet, chaining the Dagda, so we also get Scythe Lock out of this combo here, which is you know fun in Macedo. You know we're not doing that in TCG, but uh, all right, let's see if we can play through Scythe. Uh, Jet adds a Royal Rare starter. Good thing that card's that too. Am I right? Uh, clearly, this has fixed the problem. Gonna special summon Carrot out the deck here, and Elf is gonna bring back the Witchcrafter monster. Uh, sorry, not Witchcrafter, Evil Twin monster. Then you're gonna go into Pink. Pink bring back 
uh, a, mon uh, a name, go into blue, blue effect, etc. on your opponent's turn allows you to uh, uh, do the full setup here. Uh, oh, we get the bonus draw here, link them again for another two. We can't go into Trouble Sunny, obviously, because we're too locked. All right, so that's kind of like full combo with Scythe Lock. Can Witchcrafter play through this? Now right, we're going to start with Illusion of Chaos here. Our opponent's going to chain the effect of Kiss-A-Kill, going to try and attempt to immediately Scythe Lock us. Uh, although, admittedly, Scythe doesn't really do a lot against this deck. Um, elf gets to chain here. We don't get the live twin monster back with the Elf because we don't control the monster. But you don't get to bring back a Link. Instead, you just have to get to Jet, which is... Oh no, I guess I only get to uh, search for a card and follow up for next turn. So bad. Well, that's uh, reasonable. And also, when we add a card from our deck to our hands here, the Kiss a Kill Frost activates in the graveyard, which uh, just draws a card, you know, because, you know, that's a little bonus draw here. Going to special summon the Magician Souls here. Our opponent's going to activate Maxi. We're going to take the challenge. We're going to take the challenge. All right, we're going to take the challenge. Right, we're going to special summon the uh, Magician Souls. Linking it away into Artemis. Uh, we're going to take a lot of burn damage and gain some damage here, but it is what it is. Restage is activated, which is just Monster Reborn. And I think it also... Does it negate spell cards or is that Magician's Hand? Okay, you're going to use the effect of the Souls here to draw a card. <laughs> Drawing grass. Okay, listen. We needed a little bit of power to play through this, all right? Left hand is activated, which I think negates trap cards when you control a spellcaster. Gonna activate Confusion Confession, which is just polymerization, I think, for the deck. Gonna negate that with Carrot, I suppose. Makes sense. Link 2 here into Lina. Gonna extend here and uh, use a spellcaster monster. Probably try and go for Selene. All right, we got Kiss a Kill here. We're uh, taking a decent amount of life points, but we're gonna go into Katori as well. And now we've set up Apollosa, bringing back our opponents too. Here, 2 plus 2 is 4. That's fair and balanced. And now we get to activate that Grass Luke's Greener. And we hit a Metaphose Fusion that's going to draw into our trap card. We're going to activate the effect of Jenny, which uh, copies the effect of the card in the graveyard, the collaboration, which means we get to Fusion Summon now um, by using it in the grave. Uh, we're going to use Pitori in the grave as well. Chain the effect of Vice Madame. Vice Madame is going to use the effect to do what? Special Summon Schmitta. Out of the deck here. Katori gets to... Is that just like draw a card? We also needed to hit a spell there. But I guess it works out because... Uh, I don't know exactly. I'm pretty sure we just drew a card here. We're going to use the effect of Schmitta. And then in response, we're going to use the Vice Madame. Vice Madame going to add back the Reborn, which is Witchcraft or Holiday. Going to Special Summon Vera out the deck as well. With the uh, Schmitta initially there. Schmitta's Grave Effect. Banish. Main Vice Madame. Pop a card on the field. You know, just three effects in one monster seems reasonable. Schmetaga's gonna dump a Jenny. Now we're gonna go for Holiday. Holiday bring back the Haney that was, I think, milled off of grass, right? Uh, and then Potori. Potori? Pittery? Potori? Uh, going to activate the effect to bring back Collaboration. Collaboration gives you two attacks with the Vice Madame. Uh, so this is how we're gonna do a bit of a clear here. Back over with the Apollosa, clearing the Carrot, and double attack Vice Madame. 13 and 27 directly. It is in game! We took the max C challenge. It is in game. Now, the question is, can our opponent deal with uh, two negates, monster negate with Vera, pop with Haney, and three effects of uh, Madame, protection effect of By Street, and also, uh, I suppose, like the boost attack or, or the attack boost of Vera up to 4,000? Okay, it's a lot to contend with, even with max C. What does our opponent have here? Uh, okay, no Dark Ruler. Uh, did you notice that they brought back uh, the Scythe, by the way, which uh, actually hurts them more than anything? Because now you can't use your Live Twin, Normal Summons. There you go, Normal Summon a Live Twin. Activate the effect, pop the first Normal Summon. That's a bit cringe, though. Our opponent has uh, Call by the Grave, but that's fine because we have Vice Madame to chain. Do a spell card to pop the card anyway. The Call by the Grave, target the Haney to negate the Haney on the field. Five head. Uh, works out, I suppose. I mean, your opponent does have 30 cards in hand from Max C. Apparently, they cannot play through it. They just can't play through it. Witchcrafter to the moon. All right, final replay. Uh, reasoning prep. Okay, uh, Illusion of Chaos um, added here to try and bait out some uh, some kind of Ash Blossom or something. No one's meaning Droll in this format, but what can you say? How good is Triple Magician Souls? Not ideal, one would say, surely. Reasoning hits as a free Haney. I'm gonna go and use the Magician Souls, dumping Vera. Okay, uh, this is gonna send Metal Force Fusion, draws Left Arm Offering! Doesn't matter if we have Magician Souls in the hand, because we got Left Arm Offering into Grass. And this is to really show you just the power of that Grass looks greener in our Spellcaster deck. Restage activates to add Right Hand. This is a mandatory negation of a spell card, I believe, if you control a Spellcaster. 
Jenny's going to activate in the graveyard, copying the fusion spell, using away Schmitta and Magician Souls for our Royal Rare Vice, madame. Did I mention that it's Royal Rare? That's why it has three effects. Yeah, the uh, original artwork of this does not actually have three effects. It's actually a very fair and balanced card. All right, Schmitta's going to dump by Street here. We've got the right hand activated. We're going to chain the Vice, madame, to the, uh, uh, by, uh, the, the right hand. This gives us a discard in our hand. Or a Reborn, I guess, if we want to bring back that Vera. Yeah, look, that looks like what we're going to do. We're going to bring back the Vera. And put Pottery. Activating the graveyard, copying, or rather adding back the Holiday. We're going to pass turn here, and then we're going to return everything back to our hand. All right, so uh, Vice Madame, as mentioned, is a complete and utter tank. So just this by itself, uh, absolutely solos, trust me. Uh, but we've also got the Vera Negate. we got the Spell Negate with the right hand. we got the Protection with Bystreet. we got the Pop from Haney. Our opponent's gonna lead with an infinite impermanence on Haley. Haley? Haney? Oh, our opponent drew Maxi for a turn. That's so unfortunate. Oh, well. These things happen. All right, so Pator is going to special summon a second copy of Haney from the deck, which means that our initial impermed one... It's Imperm Faker! <laughs> it's Imperm Faker! <laughs> All right, sick. Uh, we're gonna go Vice Madame. Uh, chaining to the multi-faker, returning the unveiling. And we're going to use the Vice Matam in response to a Spellcaster monster, by the way. Did you know that Alte Ice monsters are Spellcasters? Yeah, DZ knows that one. Uh, we should probably inform him of this. So we got Sequoitus on the field here. We're going to immediately pop it, not let him get an Alte Geist from the field. And the final normal summon is going to be used on Marionetta, who will be used, uh, chained by Vera to negate the effect. Woo! There it is. All right. Witchcrafters, do you believe it's the best deck? All right, this is your deck list. 60 cards, of course, for the grass looks greener and a bunch of cards that all turbo into grass. We have three checking game, terraforming in here. Uh, yes, it is, but don't worry. You're just gonna have to cut the one terraforming post list. Uh, play a third left arm and says, we got chicken game, we got left arm, we got grass, we got the magician soul engine for the draw. Wow, I didn't realize you were playing three restage. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's about as good as you can get. We're playing all of the good main deck ones, which was Schmitta, Jenny, and then one and one of the others with the snow, of course. Absolutely crazy card. Reasoning is obvious, uh, obviously amazing in this because you get to special, I mean, roll the dice. Which number are you going to hit? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, defensive cards in the shape of Call by the Grave. And I suppose we're opting to not play any hand traps, even the most powerful one of Max C, because... That would hit reasoning, and that would be very unfortunate for us. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of The Bottom Table. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment down below expressing that. Consider subscribing on Patreon, or simply just uh, leave a nice comment and uh, say hi, far from. All right, thanks uh, for tuning in. Wait till the end of this video if you want to see how you can take part and send in your replays. And until next time, adios. So you want to take part on the bottom table? Do you think you have what it takes to finally set up your combo on turn 5? Or set up an unbreakable field of 1.7 negates using 4 cards? Then look no further. The bottom table is the series for you. Create a short paragraph or two describing what your deck is, how it functions, and send in a clear screenshot of your deck list using the in-game Master Duel deck editor or the Yu-Gi-Oh card database, as well as your Master Duel player ID, which replays that you are trying to showcase, email, replay at farfa.xyz and show us what you can do. This has been The Bottom Table. <laughs>